score here today against a team that we usually find it difficult to beat over the years. Frustrating morning. Is that how you sum it up? Yeah, not great overall. We were in the game for the majority of the game. Just sloppy at the back. And then get a penalty in there. One up. Look at, back over the game. There were so few chances really over the first half. Few shots off target. Only a couple later on. Second half, few more opportunities. But when you look back at PJ opening the scoring. But one of the talking points is the penalty that was not given on Harrison Quinn. Yeah, it's questionable. So what can you do? It's football. Just got to get on with it. What you can do about it. And then Glenn Hest getting their own penalty when Gary came out. A lot of people might have felt it was harsh. Yeah, it, from, well, from what the angle I seen, it looked like Gary got to the ball, but we'll have to look back and see. What can we do? And then we get, did get a penalty for ourselves. Um, Dan Brown did the business test tonight, but unfortunately not on this occasion. Keeper did well, saving Dan Brown's spot kick for three's right. Yeah, look, sure, it's the look of the draw. It's like when the lottery taking a penalty, what can you do? Not Brownie's fault. Got to live and get on with it. And Glenn Hest, you have to say that they were well organised. They were basically playing um, a Catenaccio style play, really playing uh, low block, which 4 5 1, making us very difficult, difficult for us to break them down. Yeah, it was, to be fair, it was very difficult to break down. We didn't create that much chances and they defended really well, to be fair. So. So, we've a big one here next Sunday morning, home to Ballinad Town. They beat us 3-2 down in Ballinad earlier in the season. So, uh, this is a week to pick yourselves back up and hopefully um, get a bit of momentum. Yeah, definitely. we just got to pick ourselves up, go again Tuesday and Friday and turn up with the right attitude on Sunday and hope for the best. Indeed, and I'm sure when you look back on today, Glen has sees it as a point gained, but we're a young side, there's a long ways to go, it's a big project. The project was not about winning um, the big trophies this season, the project was about de developing the younger guys through and it's a work in progress. Yeah, look, we are young but at the same time we can't make excuses. A lot of us young lads have experience of playing at high level as well and some of the older lads have been playing for a few years as well. Like We just got to start getting a few points on the board and pick ourselves up, get the fingers out, that's it. Okay, thanks very much. West Prince United versus Glenhurst Rovers tend to be tight, cagey affairs, and today was no exception. United frustrated through Glenhurst um, low block, playing a kind of a 4 5 1 Catenaccio style system, making it very difficult but very effective for them. But a frustrating 90 minutes overall, is that how you sum it up? That's exactly it, very frustrating. Um, you know, in fairness to Glen Hess, they set themselves up to the way they needed to get a result. They defended really, really well. Um, you know, it's frustrating for us because we had enough of the ball. It's just we didn't have that cutting edge, you know, to open them up. Um, and there was opportunities to do so. But a frustrating day. And one of the big talking points, really, would be the penalty calls. Three penalties in the second half. One that was not given. Two that were given. Um, one... One of them given was, you could argue, a bit contentious. Um, the other one, um, unfortunately, the ball didn't hit the target for us. Ah, look, um, I wasn't sure about the first one for us. Um, didn't look a penalty to me. Um, the second one, obviously, that we got was a penalty. It was quite clear. The, the guy grabbed him and pulled him to the ground. And look, Brownie was unfortunate. He was brave enough to step up and take it. And on a different day, maybe it went in. Today, it didn't. It, it probably was just summed up today. Um, the penalty against us is beyond frustration at this stage. We've been on the receiving end of that a few times and I just don't understand it. I don't understand how in the name of God that's a penalty, but um, it was given and they scored it. And you know, we have to recover from that and we didn't. And of course, when, when you look at the remainder of the game, we huffed and we puffed, but then but it didn't quite blow the house down. That's absolutely it. Um, you know, probably more variety in our play up top, and more movement. But sometimes what happens is you have a team working incredibly hard. They're not really trying to play. They're just trying to clear the ball. They have everybody behind it. It's really, really difficult to break that side down. 
and they were putting in a big shift and today we weren't good enough to break that down and we must take responsibility for that you know and I think we'll have to park today's result and look forward to next Sunday morning 11 o'clock here again and a big game against Barra Town who are second in the division at the moment and we know them already from earlier on in the season and we lost 3-2 to them after coming back from two down to do to draw two all with them and they got a late late win at that day so I'm sure the lads will have some sort of a measure of Ballina when they come around this time. It's a completely different challenge isn't it? Um, you've got a very attacking side and um, it should help us in the way we play for us they're going to come out and play and you know, it should open up some space for us to be able to have a little bit more threat than we had today. Um, Ball and I are having a great season. They're they're in contention for the title, so they're going to be coming here trying to get three points. Um, for for anyone watching, they're going to enjoy the game. It's going to be a good game. Um, I'm sure we'll be very competitive in the game. Um, and maybe a little bit of luck will start to run for us. We didn't quite get the support today than, that we had on Thursday night, but hopefully we'll have more people down here again Sunday morning support the boys I think so I think you know certain games are going to draw people in there's lots of stuff on at the moment and um, people are busy with communions and things like that um, but next week with Ballina they're going to bring a crowd we'll bring a big crowd there'll be a lot of interest in that game so I think you know 11 o'clock next Sunday morning let's get everybody out let's let's build let's get a result and of course it's still, still a project like I spoke to Keen um, the primary focus is development this season as and Ali Trophy is a bonus but um, just look at the second half of the season and try to build from what we did in the first half. Look, at the, we have to be judged in that development over the whole season and um, that's the first half done and um, we've blooded lots of players we've done lots of very good things we've made some very very poor mistakes we haven't got the run of luck maybe that we deserve and um, but yet we have a semi-final of the cup to come. We're in the quarter-final of the the main cup, and um, you know I think as the season goes on, we'll start to pick up these wins. We'll start to assert ourselves, and it's all preparation for the future. It's all developing these players, getting them into a situation that next season and the season after we start to come through. And uh, I still fundamentally believe we're on track for that. And we certainly look forward to the second half of the season in full flow, and hopefully we'll get a few more points on the board and finish in a good position absolutely there's lots of exciting games to come in the couple of, next couple of weeks we have Ballina next weekend we followed up with the semi-final of the cup against cross Malina, and we then go away to castle Bar. that's for footballers they're great games so these lads need to go back and choose a night and keep building keep developing keep working hard and then um, the little rub of the green will come shortly let's hope and i'm sure the rendered black army they need to get behind the lads i know it's a transitional season but once they get behind the lads, give them the bit of encouragement, I'm sure it'll give them the lift. Well, you see the, the club, you see it on Thursday night, you have all the coaches down here developing the kids. You see it at under 15s where we were during the week helping out. And there's lots and lots of work going on throughout the club. So what we're trying to do now is reward all that hard work that the coaches are putting in. We're trying to bring some of these kids into the site. And they're not kids anymore, they're young adults. And um, they need time and they need the trust and confidence of everybody here to allow them to develop on the pitch. And I think we'll all get the benefit of that in the future. Thank you very much. Welcome.